Good day, I'm Icerine and here's some more standard Sulok for you. I'm going to mess around with it, I have a very neat idea for the next video, but right now, let's just see how much further we can get. And here we have our first opponent. A shaman. That should be feasible, even though if he has a good draw and then has a lot of AoE, then I'm a little bit in trouble. At least we're second, so we have extra cards. And everything here is going away, we want some 1 and 2, maybe 3 drops. 1, 2, 1. Well, that's not a bad hand. Okay, we would... Mm. I, if we play the Argent Squire, then he is going to pop his and mine shield, and then I can Mortal Coil, and then Flame Imp next turn. Yeah, yeah, that's a plan. Oh, damn it! Then we could also, well, uh, Knife Juggler, Coin, Flame Imp, would 50-50 in that it would uh, hit his shield. So, let's hope our engineer is right. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on! Thanks for nothing. Pass it to him. Please pop your shield for my mortal coil. And don't buff it. And then again, three mana, he can't really buff it. Oh well, Shattered Sun Cleric. He's not. And he's... He's just going straight for the face. I have three mana, I could also... I could I could either pop his shield with Mortal Coil, that is just stupid. Leaving him with two mana that I could use for life tapping. Or I could make a 6-6, six, six, which is much, much better. Uh. And then we're just going to trade and pass, and then Scarlet Crusader on a Morsel Call his 1-1 next turn, if he keeps hitting me in the face. Which he keeps on doing. Okay, a free card for me, I want. I won't complain. Mortal Coil. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Oh. Uh, Defend of Argus is of course something, but we can't play it right now, so... Not important. So, let's just kill that totem. I really don't want it to stick around. They can really get infuriating behind a taunt, that's why. Okay, does he have anything with Overload? Uh, no. He's just hoping for a taunt. So, if we use the Dwarf, our Scarlet Crusader is a 5-1. Being able to kill it. Killing it, popping my own shield. Also getting the totem down. Don't want any problems with the totems. Fire Elemental. Hmm. How could we get this? Ah, okay. Life tap first. So see if we get something better. No, we don't. Defender of Argus. Making a 7-7 seven, seven for the face. And a 5-5 five, five for that one. And ending our turn. I like this white gun. This is going very well. I like it. Health-wise, we're still in, in the same, but I feel like I'm gaining very much board control. And he's... okay. He's trying again. Do you have anything o with Overload? Because I still have a Dark Iron Dwarf that I can buff my Argus with. If you didn't kill it first. Hmm. 
Hmm. We have seven mana. We can play a Doom Guard. But we can play a Flame Imp first. And then a Doom Guard. Perfect. And I'm just going I'll I'll just keep going for the face, actually. So just keeping my 7-7 seven seven on a, on these totems is just stupid, I think. So a taunt. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That would kill that would kill my flame in, but everything else is still there. Except if you do that. How much overload does he have now for next turn? That's two and that's one. Hmm. Life tap just to see we don't. Well I just want some board presence, so I don't care about the buffs right now really. He is running out of ideas. Getting a totem and a yeti. Let's see. Life tapping. Getting a soul fire. Which I can play. Wait a minute. How much do we actually have? Probably should think look that through. We have ten, fifteen, we have we have everything. What am I talking about? Just kill him. Just kill him. Nothing else. Just win. <laughs> Everything else is bad manners. And we're back on the win streak. And back at 13. Yeah. GG. And even getting some gold. Let's try again. Okay. Well, Doomguard is going out. The blood not also because we don't have any uh, divine shields to use. But then again, we're against the paladin, so maybe I should have kept it in there. Nah. I think it's better to... Ooh. I am going for the flame map. He's a... He probably has his own blood knight. So... Shouldn't give him any reason to play it. Well... Also as a paladin he has a lot of 1-1s. So we have something to trigger our enrage with. So we're also going to throw out our mighty berserker. Of course. Okay, he doesn't want to do anything. Hmm. Yeah, well, he doesn't want to throw out a 1-1, one, one. He, uh, he doesn't want me to enrage, of course. So, I'll just buff my flame imp beyond the Consecrate, and hit him in the face. A coin, one mana, so he's Consecrating. No, wait. Ah, I'm off five. Fair enough. Um, what do we want? Abusive Sergeant? Uh, I'd rather keep that. We're against a Paladin and he probably will have some quite big minions to we have to deal with, so... So we're just, yeah, also Divine Shield. If he makes a 6-6 uh, six, uh, six, six with this Blood Knight, then we uh, we can get that done. With a Doom Guard and then a 1-1, one, one, that should be feasible. But then again, he would then Consecrate, I think. Oh, he's going to Consecrate now. So he doesn't even have a Blood Knight, that's good to know. I 
He's not going to consecrate again, right? And now that we're at it, I don't think he has two consecrators in, in his hand, so we're just going for the face. And even if he does consecrate, then we can just doom God next turn. He can't do anything. He, th there's no one t uh, minion, uh, one mana taunt, right? Uh, well, there is, but I can always trade with these two. GG. That is that is already our second game. Yeah, it is. But we're just at 11 minutes. Well. Then this episode is not over yet. We're just going to go for a third game, right? Let's see if we can keep going. I'd love to. And here is our next opponent. Who's that going to be? Another Warlock. Okay. We're nearing our 12th. Ranked, and I'd really love to get there. Then I would have broken my record. There's two possibilities. It's either a handlock, which I don't know really what I could do against that, except just trying to raise him down, maybe. I know that this is just a board control deck, but the thing is, I can't do any favorable trades with this 8 8, so. So I'm just trying to go to race him if he's a handlock. If he's a Zulok, then, which he probably is, then we should be able to keep board control. Especially with this hand, this is perfect. This is a Zulok. Good to know. Then, I think Flame Imp. Do we want to Soul Fire now or later? That is the question. If we so far now, we could lose our knife chocolate, which would be very bad. If we lose anything else, I would not have that many problems with it. Hmm. That's one in fourth. I think that's... Fuck me. <laughs> uh, of course. Of course. Direwolf. Hmm. And the soul fire. Hmm. At least he's losing something good too. Then we're going to give him the unfavorable trade. I should just I should just have no. What what? Why did I do that so far? He's life tapping. At least he doesn't know what to do. So question now is, he's going to hit me in the face, meaning. That hopefully I should be able to do this actually because he's misunderstanding what this is all about. If we pretend that this is a Zulok deck and not just an all face deck, which I don't think that it really is, I don't think that so. It's probably just a budget version of it. I mean, the Leopard Gnome is the Soul Bond card. So, he's going to Mortal Coil? Yeah, it really just is, I think, a budget version of the, um, of the Zulok. That's, that sounds really weird to say. I mean, the Zulok is really cheap already to begin with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. But we got the Blood Knight. Meaning we got a 6-6. Six, six. And we can trade and he doesn't have ball control. Okay. So, just threw out two cards to hit me in the face. Okay. So we're just going to go for a Dire Wolf. And there. Life type again. Argent Squire. He could Hellfire, but he doesn't even have that. Why should he have? He's a Zulok, so he's, he doesn't have a Hellfire. So we don't have to worry about that. He's going to Life Tap. He doesn't know what to do. Does he have another Mortal Coil? Well, an Elven Archer. That's pretty much just as good. Okay, so I feel like the best way to do this is now 
actually just buffing and hope for our NG to go. Perfect. And we should have light tap first. Ah, that's nothing important. Lucky us. And hitting me in the face. And he pretty much can't do anything. We have a Doom Guard on Argent Commander if he should throw out anything big, but then again, he's a Zulok, so he doesn't have anything bigger than those two. So that's fine. A White Walker? Okay, we, we can handle that. You. Okay, per fine, fine. I was just thinking, are you buffing mine? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so if we. It's just. We have to deal 4 damage to it. We can do that with our Archon Commander. And. Our RNG is also right. Not going to hit anyone we don't want it to hit. And hitting in the face. And we got the Doom Guard for next turn. So he can't really win from this position. Yep, he can't. Boom. Boom. GG! This was going very well. Ah, yeah. Perfect. And we are at 12. So, I think I'll just stop here before I just lose. So, thanks for watching. See ya!